You know, somebody becomes a war zone, especially um, with, with the boys. Um, as far as the young ladies are concerned, um, I can tell you this much, and uh, it, may not sound, it may not sound good, but um, we have a situation where some of the young ladies, they come down to the, to, to the bus station, and you have some older guys who come. It's, like, it's just like a, a, a pickup club. Um, pick up some of our young ladies, take them away, and bring them back. What happens, I don't know. You know but it's not looking good. And um, so the whole debate about when we're looking at the kids, as far as um, they're on the street, something has to be done. It has become dangerous, for, even for the operators down here, the bus drivers, where sometimes your bus has been parked, young men, they're fighting, they're warring against each other. It's like groups against groups, and people throwing stones and bottles. You've seen cutlasses being pulled. There's a, we have a police outpost um, within the terminal itself, and sometimes it is there and it's still not there. Because it is there, the physical structure is there, but in terms of the work being done by the police officers, um, we're not getting that, that response from the police officers on time to deal with the situation that we're having. We prefer um, the safety of the kids than more in terms of, because yes, you may say the busman may make an extra dollar, but at the same time, safety is paramount. And we have to be protective of our youths, because if the time comes when, if they come down and keep fighting and warring against each other, um, and they damage your vehicle, or they damage any of the buses, then it's a loss, because then the little money that you make from the same school children um, is not even enough to repair your bus.